Did you know Excel for Office 365 has several add-ins? I've searched through thousands of them to bring you the top 10 free add-ins available from the Microsoft Store. To install add-ins in Excel for Office 365, just go to the Insert tab and click on Get Add-ins. This brings up the Microsoft Store where you can select from several different apps. Click on My Add-ins to see the list of add-ins you've already installed. Let's get started with the top 10 free add-ins. Number 1. Excel Colorizer Excel Colorizer allows you to easily add color patterns to your spreadsheet data. Start by highlighting an area of your spreadsheet you want to colorize. Choose from four types of color styles. For uniform, select a color from the palette and click Colorize. It applies the color to your highlighted data. You can also apply a pattern, interlaced or waves, and adjust the other settings accordingly. For the vertical type, choose a start and in color, and it applies the color gradient across the highlighted area vertically. And as expected, horizontal applies the color gradient in a horizontal direction. Matrix combines both vertical and horizontal gradient. One thing worth noting is that there is no remove color option. To do that, go to the Home tab and choose Clear Formats from this pull-down menu. If you want to spice up your Excel spreadsheet, use Excel Colorizer. It's easy to use and it's free. Number 2. QR for Office I recommended QR for Office for PowerPoint, but it also works great in Excel. It's the easiest way to add a QR code to your spreadsheet. Once installed, simply enter a URL, select your color and size, and insert it into your spreadsheet. Now you can move and resize the image as needed. When you scan the QR code from a mobile device, it directs you to the URL. QR for Office lets you select from multiple types of QR codes, including URLs, mail addresses, phone numbers, text messages, geolocations, or customize your own. If you need a QR code in your spreadsheet, use QR for Office. Number 3. Mini Calendar Mini Calendar and Date Picker allows you to embed a calendar into your spreadsheet for reference and for quickly entering dates. Once installed, it adds a calendar to your spreadsheet, which you can position anywhere. Select a cell and then select the date on the calendar to insert it into your spreadsheet. You can also insert the current time. Click on this icon to highlight a range of dates, hit OK, and it displays those dates in bold on your calendar. Click on the menu in the upper right and you can show as a saved image. There are several other settings to adjust the size, theme, calendar system, show week numbers, and to hide the settings. Mini Calendar and Date Picker is a great tool to make date management easier in Excel. Number 4. Places Places is a quick reference guide showing public location data from Foursquare. After installing, just select a location in your spreadsheet and it displays local information nearby. You can use cities, states, countries, or other places of interest. Click on any of the locations listed and it connects directly to Foursquare with more details. Places will show public data even if you don't have a Foursquare account, so give it a try. Number 5. PeopleGraph PeopleGraph is a Microsoft add-in to show a table of data visually. It opens with sample data. Click in the upper right corner to bring up the menu where you can change the title and select data from your spreadsheet. It is designed for only two columns of data and ignores the headings, so just select the core data you want to graph. 
Now you can select settings from the menu to pick from three different types of graphs, eight different themes, and 16 different shapes for your graph. It links to your data source and any changes are reflected in the graph, but you can convert it to an image from the menu. PeopleGraph is simplistic, but it creates a visually pleasing representation of your data that normally would take several more steps in Excel. Check it out. Number six, Activity Timer. Activity Timer measures the time you take for activities in Excel and lets you paste the recorded data into your spreadsheet. Once installed, it shows up on the Home tab. When you're ready to time your activities, open it and add your first activity. Give it a name and click Start to begin working on that activity. You can pause and continue the timer as you're working, and when you're done with that activity, click Stop. Add a second activity and use Start, Pause, and Stop again as needed. You may find that you need to return to a previous activity and continue. Just click the plus on that line. This records a separate measurement of time for that activity and shows a running average across the multiple recordings. At any point, you can paste the results of your activity measurements to Excel. This shows the times of each recording. As a helpful suggestion, highlight the data, click on the Quick Analysis tool in the corner, select Totals and This Sum if you want to see all the totals. Activity Timer is a simple but useful tool if you need to measure the time you spend on activities in Excel. Number 7. Bing Maps Bing Maps is another add-in from Microsoft that lets you plot location data and values from a table in Excel to a map. When added to your spreadsheet, it brings up a blank map. You can select the sample data if needed, otherwise just highlight your data table, including the headings, and click the Show Locations icon. It instantly plots your data points on the map at the locations you specified. The circles are proportionate in size to the data values from your table. Click the Settings icon to change the map view or pin colors. If you have multiple data points, you can also choose a pie chart for display. As with other add-ins, you can show the map as a saved image. Bing Maps is a slick add-in to represent your data as a map, and it's completely free. Number 8. Remove Unwanted Characters Remove Unwanted Characters is a helpful add-in if you work with text in Excel and need to clean it of non-printable characters, symbols, punctuation, or other unnecessary characters. Once it's installed, you just highlight a range of text and choose the option from the menu that you want to clean. Hit yes and it cleans out those numeric characters. You can remove text characters and you can remove symbols and punctuation marks. You also have the option of removing a custom character it's designed to clean up the most common annoyances with data, especially when you import text from an external source. Just be aware that you don't want to use it on formulas. It will convert them to text, making them non-functional. Remove unwanted characters can be useful for large volumes of messy text. Number nine, range calculations. Range calculations applies basic math operations to a range of values in your spreadsheet. Once installed, just highlight a range of numbers and choose the math operation you want to apply to them from the menu. Let's say we want to add 20 to all these numbers. Calculate it, and it instantly updates the entire range. How about multiplying by 3? You can also apply a percentage or add and subtract percentages from the values. 
Range calculations is really basic, but it's quicker than creating formulas and then copying and pasting the results to a new location in your spreadsheet. So it can save you some time, especially for large sets of data. Number 10, Power Pivot. Power Pivot is an add-in you can use to perform powerful data analysis and create sophisticated data models in Excel. Since Power Pivot has been around for a while, it's not installed through the Microsoft Store interface like other add-ins mentioned in this video. Instead, go to File, Options, Add-ins, and come down here to the bottom and choose Com Add-ins and hit Go. Check this box for Microsoft Power Pivot for Excel and hit OK. This adds Power Pivot to your menu. Power Pivot lets you manage large data sets from multiple sources such as SQL, Oracle, CSV files, websites, or data already in Excel. Excel is normally limited to about 1 million rows, but Power Pivot is virtually unlimited. I've imported some data here as a sample to give you an idea of what Power Pivot features look like. When you bring up the Power Pivot menu, there's a Manage option, which brings in the data that you have on your spreadsheet. If that's missing, just click Add to Data Model, and that'll bring the data in. You can also get data from external sources. Once you've combined all this data, you can now create different things like pivot tables, pivot charts. So if I want to do a pivot table, just click this, go to a new sheet, and now, just like a normal Excel pivot table, I can pull data into this pivot table and see a summary of my data. Let's come back over here, go to Manage. Let's pick Pivot Chart this time. We'll create a new sheet. You have the same features available. And it creates a chart. One of the benefits of Power Pivot is its ability to create relationships between your data elements. I won't go into detail, but when you look at the diagram view, you can add relationships to these tables. This allows you to create very complex data analytics in both pivot tables and pivot charts. Power Pivot is a very powerful add-in that you can use on large sets of data imported from multiple locations, and that's why I wanted to share it as one of the free add-ins for Excel. Thanks for watching this video on the top 10 Excel free add-ins. I have several other Excel videos available at youtube.com slash training, including tips and tricks for Excel and many other Office 365 applications. Take a look. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment. I really do appreciate your support.